Today, we're gonna to be opening up the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Special Editions. But first, I just wanted to show this is the pre-order poster that you get if you had pre-ordered the game through EB Games. And it's a nice uh, laminated double-sided poster. So the front, we have this nice shiny artwork. And on the back is a detailed map of the Kanto region. And I'm assuming the Pokemon on the map is where you can probably catch them in the game. Okay, so now on to the actual games themselves. So the boxes are virtually identical with the exception of where you see Pikachu on the one, you see Eevee on the other. So for example, on the side here, we got Pikachu and Eevee. And then on the back in the screenshots, these ones feature an electrifying adventure with Pikachu or an exciting adventure with Eevee. But other than that, the boxes are very similar. The tops are the same and the bottoms both have this nice little fossil artwork. Okay, so inside is just the game and then the Pokeball on the bottom there. So the game is sealed inside the box. And that's literally everything that's in there. Little tiny baby box. Exactly same on the inside. Once again, the sealed switch case and the Pokeball accessory. Okay, so the two cases themselves have the exact same artwork as the box did and the exact same picture on the back. So the Pokeball accessories are exactly the same because there's no difference between the two. Same artwork and the back talks about the Mew that you can get in your game with the Pokeball accessory. And there's the Mew on the top and then it's got the same fossil artwork on the bottom that the game box has had. Okay, so let's see what's inside. Pikachu. Oh, we have the same beautiful artwork that was on the back of the pre-order poster of the Kanto region, which means even if you didn't pre-order the game, you can still take a look at this reference map to see where to catch all the Pokemon. And then the cartridge. And Eevee. Exact same idea as Pikachu. Same map in the background. And just like everything else, almost identical cartridge, except it's a picture of Eevee instead of Pikachu. Okay, so let's see what these Pokeballs are about. It's actually a lot tinier than I was expecting. It has a nice um, matte feel to it, similar to Nendroids. And that lights up when you move it. That's your joystick. Okay, then we have a wrist strap so you don't accidentally throw your Pokeball through the TV. It's always hard to do these up with one hand. I guess, is this for your finger? Okay, and then here is a little USB to plug it into the actual switch. So it comes with a Type-C USB cable and it does have the official Nintendo branding on the side. A nice little instruction booklet showing you how to plug it into your Switch in several different languages. The Pokeballs, it's a nice hard plastic with a nice finish. Like I said, it reminds me of um, the Kirby Nendoroid or even the Switch controllers have that same kind of feel. So it's actually, it actually feels really nice. There's a little circle on the top here and this is actually a button. And then on the front, there's a button and a joystick combo here and there's a little light that goes on when you push things. There's nothing on the bottom, it's just white. And then here we have our little drawer that opens up for you to connect it to your Switch console and probably charge the battery. Okay, that was cute. Okay, so we have our, all our languages, so let's just stick with English. <gasps> not Professor Oak, just Oak. Oh, he's not a real professional. Professor. 
People just affectionately call him one. All our different default options. <laughs> okay, so we're trying out the Pokeball controller. I haven't plugged it into the system yet, but I want to see if it is able to... Oh, it vibrated. If it's able to connect. Oh, there we go. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that. Nope, that's back. That's confirmed. So the button here is confirmed and that's back. Okay, so the back button brings up the menu. So when you're using the Pokeball, I guess you only need the two. Whee! Go catch a Pokemon. <laughs> Not best boy! Is that my Eevee? <gasps> best Eevee! What about my Pokemon? <laughs> All right. I don't know if I imagined that, but it sounded like something came out of this. Whoa. Oh, it's a girl! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I didn't click get ready. So if you just flick the Pokeball without clicking ready, nothing happens. Oops. So make sure you hit get ready. Pro tip. Oh yeah. Yeah, you hear the Pokemon sound in the Pokeball when you catch it. So it vibrates and lights up, and then you actually hear the sound come from it. So now I'm going to see what it's like playing with these guys. Now one thing I'm curious about is... Oh! I made another person come. I can't move myself though. This battery might be dead. Oh, who do we have here? Hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm just curious what's gonna happen now with the battle system, because I'm playing handheld, so I can't really flick the controllers. Oh, they just want me to do that? Oh, nope. <laughs> So this just moves. So when you get ready, but when you don't, ha when you have the controllers attached in handheld mode, you just push A to throw it. So you have to aim this way, if that makes sense. That's how you line it up. Instead of lining it up this way, you line it up the screen and just press A. Well, this music's intense for the first battle. So fighting looks the same. Same as the regular games, it's just the catching that they changed. No, I'm gonna be paralyzed. I hate that attack. 
Okay, sweet. Didn't paralyze me. Oh, everyone gets experience even if they didn't fight. Evie's on my head! She's even cuter than it following me around. And one more thing that's new is we can take our Pokemon for a stroll. If you go here, you can load your Pokemon to the Pokeball controller and take them for a stroll. So if you walk around, they get experience without you having to battle. Uh, right now, the Mew is actually inside the Pokeball, so it won't let me take them for a stroll until I load the Mew into my game. But once you take the Mew out, you can put someone else in. Oh, that's the Mew. Thanks for watching, feel free to like or subscribe or ask me any questions you might have down below in the comments.